Did I really just find a side hustle flipping old vintage trucks that can make me at least $5,000 a week? Let's check it out. So I've been a Ford lover my whole life. I've had Ford trucks ever since my very first one in high school, which was a 1976 F-150 single cab just like this long bed it wasn't as clean as this one but i made it my own and i fell in love with that and there's something to be said about your high school ride that later on in life you kind of want it back especially if it was an old cool truck if you follow my channel or are new i'm a construction woodworker a contractor i love building things there's also a business side to that and there's creative ways to make money uh, I'm a firm believer in doing stuff that you're passionate about, that you believe in, that's gonna give you fulfillment. And I really just thought that this was an awesome side hustle, something that I still love. I love old trucks. And I got on Marketplace the other day and just started looking. I said, hey, I'm, I'm curious to find my high school truck, that 76, let me see what's out there. Lo and behold, my truck wasn't listed anywhere, but there was a lot of other cool trucks. And I have some other friends who are Ford enthusiasts who know the values of these trucks and so i just started messaging people seeing if there's something that i could a good deal out there that i can go meet up with so i messaged on this beautiful 1972 ranger xlt the guy told me it had been in the family since 1972 when his grandpa bought it off the lot so they still had the sticker tag from the dealer from 1972 this is an awesome find if you're looking for old trucks you know it's been taken care of nothing's been tinkered with it and it really turned out to be that way what i've learned about selling on marketplace especially when it's something that's used something that people are trying to just get rid of is that whatever price they put on there typically isn't what they're going to get right there's always the art of the negotiation i feel like that's where the most power is in obtaining old vehicles like this uh, if you try to do it on the app, on Marketplace, you're most likely gonna fail. It's gonna take some effort of actually being there, standing in front of them, talking about the truck. You know, it's got rust, it has this, it has that. Talk it down a little bit. I'd love to have it, but here's where I'm at. And play that game with them because money talks. You're standing there with $100 bills and say, hey, I'm at X amount of dollars. There is a better chance that you might walk away with that vehicle, that truck, versus trying to do that online. And that's exactly what happened with my first truck with that 1972. So let's break down that deal. This listing, they were asking $3,500 for that 72 Ranger XLT. I showed up, I did the dance around the truck, inspected everything, did not act excited at all. And this family at this point honestly just wanted to get rid of this truck. So. I like this show, American Pickers, and one of the guys on there likes to do what's called bundle deals. They had this John Deere lawnmower they're also trying to get rid of. So I bundled the truck and the lawnmower for $2,300. I sold the lawnmower actually right when I got home for 500 bucks, which means I'm into this truck for $1,800, an all original 72 Ranger XLT that runs for $1,800. That's absolutely unheard of so i got the truck and what i did next i think is an absolutely crucial part about relisting anything and that's making sure you have better pictures than the previous person that posted had so i drove this truck up to grand teton national park which is close by where i live and i took some absolutely beautiful portrait photos of this truck with the tetons in the background that just honestly make this truck look even that much more beautiful that much more better than it actually is even though it's a nice truck but surrounded by the mountains and nature, just it looks better than sitting in some street with houses and other cars around it. So taking pictures, stepping up your marketing game is gonna get more eyes on it. And then this next step is I think what sold the truck and what's gonna keep selling trucks that I acquire is finding trucks in my market, which is in East Idaho. It's a small community. It's not a lot of people, but there are a lot of old trucks or a lot of farms. So these things are laying around all over the place. So find these trucks and take them to bigger markets, take them to LA, take them to Las Vegas, take them to Denver, somewhere that has more people, take them to Seattle. And these trucks are really gonna get a new life. They're gonna get discovered and that's what happened. Now I have this 72 for 1800 bucks. I have brand new pictures. What did I do? I posted it and the next day I woke up to about 20 messages on this truck. I had a guy in Las Vegas paying, he wanted to pay full asking price, which I asked $6,500. Plus, he wanted to pay me another $1,000 just to drive the truck down to him. I said, you know what? Rather than having people come over and haggle me, I got a full price offer at $6,500 plus $1,000 of travel. I took it. 
So I, I netted $4,700, not counting the travel expense, $4,700 in a matter of a couple days, just from finding an old truck and posting it back up in a different market with better pictures. $4,700, I mean, that's, that's insane in a couple days. So, I mean, as a side hustle, if this is something that you can continue to do and, and find, you know, go find deals, that's a decent amount of money. Some of you guys might be happy with one of those deals a month. 4,700 bucks might be more than you're making right now. And if you wanna make more and do two deals and make almost $10,000, I think that's definitely possible. It's just about being strategic and moving things to a different market. Now here's the kicker. I didn't just take that $4,700 and say, all right, I'm good to go. I'm fine. I'm just gonna chill. I'm sitting in another truck right now that I use that money to purchase. This truck is absolutely beautiful. I'll show you around this truck. And I think that that's another key factor in, in growing anything, especially a side hustle, is taking your profits and buying something else and continuing to flip that. So right here, I have a 71 F250. The guy was asking 5,700 for this. I talked him down to $3,800. Why? Because I flashed the cash. He took it and I'm off at my house now with this truck. I also have this 66 F100 twin I-beam that it's very rare to find these with a straight body like this and very little rust. So this could have a nice patina look. This truck I picked up for $3,500, which for this year is actually a really good deal. And I'm gonna turn around and sell these trucks, just adding a few things like some tires and whatnot. I'm gonna sell this 66 Ford for $8,000. My friend in California just sold the same exact year, same condition for 9,000. So I'm looking for that quick sale. This truck I'm gonna list for around $7,000. So we're looking at what, $15,000 in uh, gross sales on these two trucks that right now, if I do the math, I'm only $2,600 out of pocket. So 26 out of pocket, I can take home 15 grand once these are posted and sold. And this is just a side hustle, this is fun. Like I love doing this kind of stuff, right? And then I still have my business doing construction that's bringing in money. So all that to be said, you can do this if you want to. If you love old Fords like I do, maybe you love Chevys, maybe you love vacuums. I don't freaking know. Just flip something, buy it cheap, take it to a different market, take that profit home. You're watching Timberman TV. Make sure to subscribe, click the like button, and we'll see you next time.